competition in skateboarding. So Ayuma Hirano now at 23. Here's what I want Number one qualifier. This is what I want you to pay attention to just as much as his antics above the lip, how quiet his body is. There's a skateboarder, a legendary street skater by the name of Tom Penny, who would I equate his style to. It's so quiet, so lazy, but once he leaves the lip, it is just insane. And you mean lazy in a good way. Lazy in the best possible way. Here we go, Ayuma Hirano into hit number one. He's got the back-to-back -back 14s. Here we go, straight into the first 14. There's the second 1440, back-to-back 1440 so far. Giant frontside 1260 landing at the bottom of the transition. Backside 900, will we see that crazy triple out of him? Not this run, just came to full 1080 to test the waters. That was the, that was crazy back-to-back -back 14th, not the cleanest I've ever seen him do him. I just wonder if the judges are going to judge him against himself right now or the rest of the field. So Ayuma Hirata with a great opening run to move into first place after run number one. He'll need better than a 92 to top American Taylor Gold. So there we go. Frontside 1440, a little bit of a pivot under the lip there. We saw that snow kind of blast up, but comboing that into the switch version that was a great combo to open up with. There's another look at it. Dropping into that 1260. And he has that ability to land flat in the bottom and still maintain the momentum to blast above the lip. There's the windup, snaps into the backside 900, a little tweak out of the front leg to show that he's got complete and total control. And then ending that run off with a casual frontside wow. 1080. So Ayuma Hirano, much more to come from him. Like I said, I think this is just him testing the waters. What will that score net me? Do I need to do the triple and where is it gonna go? Yeah, it's very strategic of what he's doing because he's talking about, you know, putting life and limb out there as he gets ready to see his score drop from run at number one. A very casual run for him. And it's hard to say that, Todd, when you've got 14s in the mix. I have a feeling he's going to bump up into the top three. The judges are taking their time. I don't think it was as crazy as Taylor Gold's run, simply because Taylor Gold's been trying to do that run right. now for years and finally puts it down. The judges have seen him attempt it. So Ayuma Hirano, those top 14 to 14, wasn't the cleanest I've ever seen him do him. And he's better than an 85-5 to go into a top three position, better he's than in, 88. He's in the top second. three for sure. So the score coming now for Ayuma Hirano. He'll go into third place with an 86-75. So just behind Jan Shear, 88, and Taylor Gold, after one run, leads the way. One qualifier in the competition coming in, Ayuma Hirano out of Japan. He's a two-time Olympic silver medalist on board Team Japan in skateboarding as well this past summer where he competed in the men's park competition. He really is, as you say, Todd, an all-terrain vehicle when it comes to boarding. Yeah, he is an ATV. And he's about to go absolutely buck wild on this half pipe because his run number one with the two 14s didn't really put him where he wanted to. And Ayumu is one of these riders who, which is uncharacteristic for Japanese riders, to get angry and motivated. <laughs> Here he comes, dropping in to his second run of three. Ayumu, I can't wait to see what he brings. Straight into 1440, landed perfectly off hit number one. Back to back, 14 stomped out really? clean. Into front side, 1260 at Ooh. the bottom of the transition. So unfortunately for Ayumu, pressure's on for run number three. So we got a couple of big heavy hitters that are going to be battling it out in run number three for that big score. Well, you think about the man that won the gold medal, Sean White and Pyeongchang at the last Olympics. The man that won the silver medal, Ayumu Hirano, at the last Olympics. Both of them need a big third and final run score to get them onto the podium and a shot at winning. Let's look at the competition. Maybe one of the most creative and stylish riders in the half pipe, Ayumu Hirano. He is a two-time silver medalist in the half pipe. Finishing in second place to Sean White in Pyeongchang. Did not sit well with him. He felt that his score was better than Sean's. And here's his opportunity now to win the Dew Tour. He's going to need better than that 95 to take the lead and the win. He needs better than an 89 to go onto the podium. So he's got a pair of 1440s up top. He's got the 1260s. He's also the first one that landed the triple cork in the pipe and did it in stellar fashion. There we go. Final competitor here at the men's super pipe presented by Toyota. Ayuma Hirano, a pair of 14s straight away. Front side. There he goes. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh, 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 oh. oh my word. He was feeling it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yuto Totska dodges the biggest bullet of them all because Ayumu Hirano was swinging for the fence as he uncorks on the first hit. Wait till we see the replay of hit number one. That was incredible. Team Japan serving notice to anyone that has any desires of being on the podium in Beijing. It's going to have to go through Team Japan. Yeah, without a doubt. I think people are still kind of like, did he just? Yeah, I, I need to see it. I need to see it. Here we go. Hit number one. One, two, triple cork. Oh. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Switch triple cork. Excuse me, frontside triple cork. 14. I mean, and man, no. it looks so what casual. Is I didn't even know what the rotation would be on that. That's the triple. That's what we've been talking about this whole time. That is the bar now, and he essentially stomped out of that about as good as you could. That is trick number one on his run. He was out for blood. Then going into hit number two, unfortunately washes out on the 14. But everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's happening. Yeah. Taylor it's Gold's happening. like, this is the guy that could bump me, hey, and I, I can't believe he just did that. I got to say this right now. Half pipe snowboarding has just changed. Yep. Ayumo Hirano just changed the competition landscape for half pipe snowboarding. The triple cork has now been presented in a format of competition. So progression on display.